Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Russell from the Experimental Gambling Research Lab at CQ University. I've mentioned before that it's usually a good idea to have a Word document or similar ready with all of the questions that you want to put into your survey. It really helps with programming. What a lot of people do is copy and paste from that Word document into the Qualtrics platform. Makes sense, right? Problem is, sometimes the formatting can be all screwed up when it goes into the survey. So I'm going to show you how to fix that and how to actually do formatting within Qualtrics. You can still copy and paste, but there's just a couple of extra steps that you need to do to make the survey look how you want it to look. Let's get into it. So here we see an example of an information sheet that's typical at the start of a survey. So you know you usually tell your participants who you are, who to contact if they've got any problems, uh, and what the survey is about just in general. So we've got all this written up, we've got it nicely formatted with some bold headings and things. We've even got um, an email address down here with an active link in there. Uh, and you know, it's, it's ready to go. I don't want to have to type all of this out again though. So the easiest thing for me to do is just to select all of it, copy it and just drop it into um, the survey here. So when I've done that, it looks pretty all right. I'll scroll down and have a look and see that, for example, that link to my email address there has broken, so I would need to fix that. What will sometimes happen though, when you look at this in a preview, for example, let's go and have a look at the preview, is that it may not look exactly how you want it to look. Sometimes the text size is too big or too small um, and not fitting with the rest of the survey. So I've often programmed surveys where one question will be huge and the next question will be tiny um, and it doesn't really make sense why because they've been copied out of the same Word document. But it does happen. So here's what you can do. First up is there are some defaults that you can set in your survey. So you can go to look and feel over here in the new interface. Um, and when you get to uh, style, you can set you know, the question text size and the answer text size. But when you've pasted something into a question, that won't be um, the default anymore. It will use whatever text size is in um, that individual question. So we're gonna have to go back to that individual question and change things. The way you can do that is you click on the question and you can just hit remove formatting here, um, or you can go into rich content editor uh, and there's an option here, this T with a little underscore X, you can use that to remove all formatting too. So select all of it, strip formatting, um, and we've gone back to normal. You'll see things like page break, uh, line breaks, I should say, um, are still there. But when I redo them this way, there, there isn't the line spacing that's come across. It's not like double line spacing or anything anymore. So, you know, you can clean up your, um, your survey this way. You'll need to look at things like, all right, that text was bold, so I'll just copy that across. So, you know, it's a bit of work, but it's certainly a, a lot easier than typing it all out again. Um, so there we go, that's in bold and so on. I'm not gonna do the whole lot here. You can, um, you know, do it yourself in your surveys, but you'll see what needs to happen there. The other one to show you is there is this email address down here that I wanna make into an active email address. So I'll select that whole email address and there's a little link button up here, uh, which is this one over here. So link, all right. And I want to make this not into a URL, so a website that people would go to if they clicked it, but an email address. Um, and I'll enter my email address. Oops, that's who it's gonna go to, a.m.russell cq.edu.au um, and I might even make it easy for participants here and add in um, the message subject so I know what they're emailing me about. I often have multiple surveys in the field so I'll say you know this is about the changing landscapes survey all right and then they, you know you could have um, some information um, that pre-fills in the body as well of the, of the email. So we just hit OK um, and we're set up ready to go and so now when I preview that uh, it's coming across and it's got all that set up how I want it to. There's a few extra things I need to set up, um, but I haven't done that for the purposes of this demo. So that's it for today, a nice short one, but just to show you that when you copy text over from a Word document into a Qualtrics survey, it will inherit some of the coding, but not all of it. And that might look a little bit funny because it has things like say 1.15 line spacing um, or issues with bold text not working very well or text size being all over the place. So easiest thing to do is just to remove all formatting. You can do it either here or in rich content editor with the TX button there, um, and then just set up the bold text again. It saves you having to type it all out. And remember things like um, email addresses um, that you want to make active may not copy over. 
Um, so that's it for today. Thanks very much. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to get in contact and I'll see if I can do up a video about something that you want to see. Catch you around.